This is a rocket engine. And I think it would be a good idea if I explain that mess before you melt your brains trying to understand it. But to understand how a rocket engine works, we must first understand how they push a rocket to space. Imagine you're on a skateboard with a fire extinguisher. As soon as you open the valve, the stuff inside comes out at high speed and you start moving in the other direction. Congratulations, you have made a rocket skateboard. This is exactly how rockets work. They expel gases from the engines and gain speed in the other direction. The faster the gases are coming out of the rocket, the better. In this video, we'll look at how the shape of the rocket engine maximizes the speed of the gases coming out of the nozzle. Let's look at three different shapes of the engine. The first one is a simple tube with pressurized gas inside. When you open it from one end, the gas will come out of it fast, but not even close to what we need to lift the rocket. So what can we do to increase the speed of the gases? The answer to this question lies in our day-to-day -day lives. Imagine you have a water bottle and you poke a hole through it. If you apply pressure, the water comes out of it faster. This means in order to increase the speed of the gases, we need to increase their pressure. This can be done by squeezing the flow of the gases. As the gases have a smaller area to pass through, they need to speed up so that the same amount leave every second. The problem with this kind of an engine is that the pressure of the exhaust is higher than the atmospheric pressure. So the exhaust expands after leaving the nozzle. This exhaust moving to the side literally means energy wasted to the side. The solution to this problem is putting something called the bell nozzle after the engine. What this does is that it allows the gases to accelerate as they expand. In other words, the pressure of the gases is converted into speed of the gases. The longer the bell nozzle, more the pressure will be converted to speed. But beware, if the pressure decreases beyond the atmospheric pressure, then the atmosphere will actually push the exhaust inwards again, leading to energy losses. We want the exhaust to be as straight as possible. This expanding of the gases in the nozzle actually has a name to it. It's called expansion. And yes, I know you could not have guessed that. So is this it? Is straight exhaust best for any rocket? Well, there's actually a catch there. Most rocket engines have overexpanded nozzles. This is because the rocket spends only a small portion of the time in Earth's lower atmosphere. This way, the rocket spends most of its time in optimal engine performance. So this is it. Rocket signs for you in less than 3 minutes. Hope you enjoyed it. Signing off.